Hey you, what's up you guys? It's me, Donut Dude here today. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can build a fully working water elevator in Minecraft. Now, this elevator can allow you to go from one floor to the other. Basically meaning you can get from the ground floor to the top floor, or the top floor to the middle floor. You can choose what floors you want to go in. Can I just say there are two tubes. One of them takes you up, one of them takes you down. So it does require two sort of elevators. Each one goes in a different direction. So now let's show you how to build this original design. Okay guys, so here it is. As I just said, this is completely original. I haven't seen anyone else do this before. But as you can see, the redstone is pretty simple. These two bits of redstone here are the only bits of redstone you're going to need for three floors. So if you want your, your build for six floors, you would need to basically build this twice in order for it to work. So I'm just going to give you a test run here so I can come in here. Oh, if I can make it in time. There we go. And it takes me up. So now let's say I've done any anything I want to do on here and I want to get up to the next floor. I can just simply do that like that. And then let's say I want to get down to the next floor again because I accidentally went up and not down. I can just simply do this. Here we go. And then I want to get down to the bottom. I can just press this. And here you go. So that's literally how simple it is to get and in case you're wondering this is a piston here so that's what this is for so there's this torch here and the button is behind it and it's basically just a redstone current that then leads it le has to lead from the torch to the piston not from the piston to the torch you guys so as I demonstrate here if the piston's like this it won't work if the no the repeater even and if the repeater's like this it will work now of course you set it how many ticks you want but i personally think one two three ticks is good enough for that and then over here this bit of um gone what it's called now micro block is also a piston so when you press this button again there's a torch here it then sets off a current there are two repeaters set to three ticks as well here because this one needs a bit more delay and then of course there is the piston there so that's literally how simple it is i'm going to build a mini example over here just to show you how to do this so this is what you are going to need today you're going to need a block of iron of course your repeaters some soul sand and magma blocks redstone torches redstone dust a sticky piston water bucket and iron door and you're just going to need some buttons and some stone pressure plates here we are so i'm just going to build a little example over here so you'll place down your magma block and then one block away from that your soul sand place down some blocks surrounding them just like this and so this triangle formation you can build this up buy two extra blocks as well if you wish you could then place down your floor just like this I'm building this um, so I don't have to break the ground and then place down the floor but obviously if that's what you want and not one block elevated up from the, the um, normal floor level then you have to do this okay so now what you want to do is you want to extend this out like that place down your iron doors just like this here we go and you can then get out your stone pressure plates if it will let me thank you very much and then just place them both down on these spare blocks in front of each of the magma block and soul sand here we go and then you want to get out your stone button and you want to place down a button for this one no need for this one as this one is the down one unless you have a basement level that you would like to use you don't actually need a down button one for your ground floor you only need the up one i by the way guys i did use signs over here 
to indicate what one was up, which one was down. I'm not going to bother with this one, as I know the right one is up, left one is down. But obviously, if, if you were doing this in a server or something like that, or a world that all your friends will be in, you might want to put down these signs that just indicate the arrows for up and down. Here we go. One thing you will need the signs for, though, guys, is to put them down here. Just like that, to obviously stop the water from going through. This pressure plate's actually doing for, for us, as we see here. But if I did that, yeah, that's what happens. So you make sure you put your sign here. I'm just going to get rid of that water for now. Come on. Go. Be gone with you. There we go. Thank you. Here we are. All right. So now that that's done, guys, we just want to build up one more here. Place down more blocks on these two pillars here. And then you can place down one block here. And then add in your floor to your build, just like this. And then you want to do the same thing on the ground floor. Place down two blocks. You can also build up this formation, just like so. And you want to make this three blocks tall from here, just like so. See so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Here we go. And then, of course, your pressure plate there. Sign here. Oh, sorry for that um, little thing on there. You can hardly see it. That will be fine. And then, of course, one here. There we go. You can then, obviously, now place down your iron doors just like this like we did with the last one down here oh that's strange you guys this is not gone to plan right so i've somehow been able to do it one out okay i see what i did wrong you only want to do this out by one more okay right now that i've fixed my own problem don't think i've ever actually made a big mistake in one of my videos here we go, place down that there, and then of course you can place down a button here as well, because you can now go down on this down elevator. Here we go. So I'm now going to show you the system on how to get up. So what you want to do is place down your two blocks here, break this block, and then you want to place down a piston right here. And then you want to build these blocks here, so it circles around to where this um block is i can now break that this um stone the block with the stone button on is and then you want to place down one torch here i think it'd be better if i do that and then like this there we go i think that makes it a lot easier and then you place down your torches going from the torch here and then place down your repeater facing into the piston not outside because again that doesn't work place it down into the piston and it will work set it to one two three ticks here we go so as you can see if i deactivate this now it will then pull back the block just like that so just place it back in because we don't want that right now so now if i place this that then goes out here we go actually you know what i'm going to replace that sign because that is really starting to bug me now I come on quickly yes okay so you guys that just shows that off just there there you go it's just as simple as that again you can see it over here it's just so simple you guys i don't know why i placed out two blocks there last time i think it's when i was experimenting and i realized i didn't actually need them but i didn't couldn't be bothered to break them Right, so now what you want to do is you can also place down two blocks there as well for the down one. Here we go. So I've just shown you how to do the first two floors to the up. But I haven't shown you how to do the down one yet. So that's what I'm now going to show you. So if we just come into here real quick. You can place on a magma block here. And then you want to come out here. And break the block next in the magma block, which I believe is here. And again, oh, not that. And again, you want to place down 
you push down here so then there's room for it to extend out and then if we move over here guys just to show you it again so you then want to build out one two three blocks there and then just go up and into where the bottom will be so if i now do this over here for you guys so it'll be one two three here we go and where's the bottom it's first so i need to do this of course you want to place down blocks here here we go so place down your redstone coming along like this and then i'm pretty sure it's a torch over here just like that and then of course you will want some repeaters going through here so let's just place this in now here we go set that to all ticks same with this one here here we go this is exactly how much delay you will need so it's literally just two repeaters set to three ticks that's how much delay you will need for that to work so now if we come in here as you can see it will do that so i bet what you think it is this is a water elevator where's the water so now that you've done this i think it would be a pretty safe bet to go ahead now and place in all your water so i could place some down going into here and if i just quickly do this like that i think the water will now go into there as well yep and then i can do this over here if i just quickly do that and um oops then pick block that here we go all right so that that bit's done you guys we can now build up the third layer to this of course this isn't the prettiest but obviously you can make this as compact as you want as neat as you want this is just a rough example of what this could potentially be so now of course you want to continue with this same pattern so a zigzag pattern here leading all the way up to the third and final floor that i'm going to show you to build up three from the floor i think would be a pretty good thing to do here we go <coughs> pardon me and then place down these blocks here there you go that now should be correct this time guys yep place down your iron doors oops cut place your iron doors don't know how it, that happened think my laptop glitched out a bit here we go place down these iron doors here again put down your pressure plates wherever they may be so if like the not really prepared sort of approach guys i'm just like switching around them but this isn't perfect so sorry about that but it is what it is so we go actually i think build it up one more would probably be a good thing to do just like that so there's no actual redstone needed for this bit you guys all you need is the roof now and then of course you need your buttons on either side and then obviously you need your water and the signs you can't forget the signs like i nearly did just then their event did end disaster here you go just like that so now i need to put in the water here we go just like that place down water into here so there you go you know what i might as well put in the signs why not actually i don't need to put in a sign for this one in fact i don't even need a button for this one because i can't go up any further on these three blocks so unless you plan to build up a bit more you don't actually need a button for this one so just leave that one like that but obviously with this one you're gonna need it so just like that here we go so there you go there you go you guys that i believe is that done so obviously you can make this as compact as you want and as um tall as you want you just need to watch this video like you just have hopefully made it this far and then just make it as compact as you want guys you can sort of do whatever you want with this this was just an example so now if i just build these walls up guys i can give you sort of the final product of what i just did 
so it doesn't actually take that long you guys as long as you know what you're doing and you follow this um, these step by steps that I've given you it shouldn't take you any longer than 20 minutes to build I've just done it within about 15 I think according to my sense of time and what time I started recording this here we go just like so here we go can't be bothered to do the roof guys sorry oh you know what why not doesn't take that long to do here we go so now let's just give you the little test run I'm just gonna put in these signs for the sake of it here we go just like this and then I think I'm gonna do this for all the floors so all the up signs and all the down signs Here you go you guys, so I just handed in all the signs for this to give you the final test one of what we just made if I just clear my inventory like that. Here we go. And you can also see my username there, superpink182, because this is the bedrock version of Minecraft. Okay, so here we go. So that what you want to do is just play come in here, then you can go up just like that, and then you do whatever you want here. You think, you know what, I want to go down now. You can certainly do that. And then let's say I want to go up all the way up. I can do that by coming here. And then going back up like that. Here we go. Oh, I don't think there should be a bit of water there. Here we go. Or we'll block there even. All right. There we go. We will make mistakes sometimes, guys. I just made another mistake by falling down. Maybe I should extend this out a bit more. To prevent that from happening again here we go oh i made a typo there here we go very right right so now i want to go back down here we are you know i want to go down again here we go you can literally have as much fun as you want with this just going up and down up and down as freely as you like so there you go that is literally the elevator done you guys i really do hope you did enjoy this video if you did make sure to leave a like subscribe and turn on post notification bell to never miss a video from me i'm gonna be coming out with these types of videos every other no every wednesday and then of course i post every other saturday and every other sunday going in between servers and then survival videos stay tuned for those as well make sure you click the bell to get notified for them so that's it from me and i'm gonna see you guys in the next one bye